We've used the UI Image Picker Controller class twice now, once in Project 10 and again in Project 13, so I hope you're already comfortable with it. We need to use a Collection View Controller just like in Project 10, so we're going to start by opening ViewController.Swift and making this class inherit from UI Collection View Controller rather than a regular UI View Controller. Now open main.storyboard and delete the existing view controller. We'll replace that thing with a collection view controller. So I'll search in the object library for a collection view controller. Boom, drag that thing out. We want to go to the attributes inspector to make this thing the initial view controller. And in the entity inspector, make this thing have our class of view controller. And finally, embed that inside a navigation controller. Boom, like that. And this collection view is going to show some pictures, so these tiny little cells aren't big enough by a long way. I want you to go inside this collection view here, select it, then go to the size inspector, and change its size from 50 all the way up to 145 wide by 145 high. For section insets, please enter 10 for all values. So that's 10 for top, 10 for bottom, 10 for left, and 10 for right. We have one prototype cell here, that's this big empty space in the middle. Please select that now. You'll see collection view cell highlighted over here in the document outline. I would go to the identity inspector and give this thing the reuse identifier of image view. Inside there, we're going to have exactly one UI image view taking up all the space. So in here in the object library, I'll look for image, drag one of these out into there, and then change its size so it's going to be x0, y0, width 145, height 145. So it matches a cell around it. We only have one thing here, so we're not going to create a custom UI collection view cell subclass. Instead, we'll just give it a tag so we can identify this thing uniquely. So over in our attributes inspector, we'll say its tag is not zero, but 1000, a suitably random number. Now all the constraints in this project can be made automatically by Xcode. So go ahead and select the collection view, then go to the editor menu and choose Resolve auto layout issues, and finally reset to suggested constraints, either in selected views or in all views in view controller. It doesn't really matter. And with that, we're done with IB. So go ahead and open up viewcontroller.swift. I'll hide this bar on the right to make some more space, and we can start writing some code. Now remember, almost all of this has been covered in other projects already, so I'm not going to waste too much time here when there are far more interesting things around the corner. To start with, I'm going to add a right bar button item that uses the system's camera icon and calls an import picture method that we'll write shortly. I'm also going to customize the title of the view controller so it isn't empty. So let's write view to load now. We'll start with title equals selfie share. That's the name of our little app we're making. And for the right bar button item, we'll say navigation item dot right bar button item equals a UI bar button item. We're going to use the bar button system item of dot camera. For the target, we'll say self. And for the action, we'll do hash selector. And we'll write a new method here. It doesn't exist yet, but that's okay. Called import picture. Like that. So add a right bar button item that we can tap to trigger importing of a picture. Xcode's complaining, of course, because that doesn't exist yet. So let's write in a quick method there now. We'll do more later. We'll do uh, at obj c func import picture and otherwise leave it empty. In the meantime, let's go ahead and make our collection view work correctly. So, first, we're going to have a property in here called var images, which will be an array of UI image, an empty array of that. And these are the ones that we imported from the image picker controller. To show the image picker controller, we have to make our view controller conform to two protocols, UI navigation controller delegate and UI image picker controller delegate. So let's do those now. We have UI navigation controller delegate and UI image picker controller delegates, like that. And both those are required to handle the image picker callbacks. Our new images array will tell us how many items should be in our collection view. So we can now fill in the number of items in section method for our collection view. We'll say number of items in section, return images.count. So we have one item for every image in our array. 
Next comes the only out of ordinary thing in all this code, which is the cell for item app method of our collection view. To get us through this part of the project as quickly as possible, I took a shortcut inside IB. When it comes to configuring cells to look correct, we can dequeue them using the identifier image view, then find the UI image view inside them without a property. Now I asked you to set the tag of the image view to be 1000, and here's why. All UI view subclasses have a method called view with tag, which searches for any views inside itself, or indeed itself, with that tag number. So we can find our image view just by using this method, although I'll still use if let and the conditional typecast to be sure. So let's write some code now. We'll say cell for item at let cell equals collection view dot dq reusable cell with the identifier image view for the index path. And now, can we read our image view? Can we find a view with a tag 1000? that happens to be a UI image view. Let's find out. If let image view equals cell dot view with tag. And we use 1000 as a magic number that identifies our UI image view. And it will do a typecast here as question mark UI image view. And if that succeeds, great. We found the image view inside the cell. So we can say image view dot image is our images array at index path dot item. So load that image from our array and put it into the image view image. And finally, return cell. So that cell goes back and is shown inside the collection view. And that makes the collection view work just fine, but we still need three more methods in order to get our basic app ready. And these are the methods to handle the image picker. This is more or less identical to the code we've written previously. And if it isn't identical, it might as well be. Check project 10 if your memory is bad. First, we have this import picture method. We're going to say let picker equals a UI image picker controller. We're going to do picker.allows editing is true. Then picker.delegate is self. And then present that picker animated true. We're also going to try and catch the did finish picking media with info method. So we'll write did finish picking media. And we'll first try and read out the image by saying guard let image equals info, the info dictionary, dot edited image as question mark UI image, else return. So if we can't find the image in that dictionary, just bail out immediately. Go ahead and dismiss the view controller, animated style. We're going to insert that into our images array by doing images dot insert that image at index zero. And finally, ask our collection view to reload its data like that. So it'll insert the image in our array and then show it in the collection view straight away. And that's it, done now. There's no more boring old code now. Let's try and run the app now to make sure it all works nicely. So there's our navigation bar at the top with selfie share and our camera icon. I'll press that now. I'll choose moments and this nice waterfall here from Iceland. I'll press choose, and boom, there we are in our image view looking nice. So far, this is really just a cut down version of project 10, but that's about to change.